Oh, hey there, and welcome back. Today, I want to take you with me through the process of creating my own lamp. It was gifted to me as a Christmas present and I cannot express my gratitude enough to the person that gave it to me. This present is something amazing. I can hardly believe that the Christmas time is already gone and that today we celebrate the first day of a new year. I know that this is a little jump from my usual Venice stories, but I used to do these artsy videos on this channel and haven't done one in a long while. Recently I've been feeling the need to create things and this was just perfect. I had never even attempted at anything like this before. So this is my absolute first try at scratching out something. I don't even know if I can call it that way. Maybe engraving would be a better word. This design was in my iPad for quite some time. The first time I finished it and looked at it, I don't know, I just felt like there is an untold story in her face. And for some reason, the piece just makes me stop every single time and think. I was enjoying the process of creating this so much. The engraving pen is really sharp and the cuts were so easy. This was actually a thing I was scared of, that it would be too hard to even make a single scratch. It felt as if I was painting with light. And if that's not simply enchanting, then I don't know what is. When I was editing this video, dim lighting, the fairy lights, and the music. It just made me so relaxed and calm. I do hope my voice is not disturbing the video completely because initially I debated leaving it 
only with music. It was beautiful that way already. And I was really, really afraid that my voice would disturb the overall feeling. be honest here with you, I was really scared of making mistakes. There is no eraser here, no undo button. And of course, I made some tragic fail. She is supposed to have closed eyes. And one of my last strokes was to improve her eye. And I added too much. So it looked like she had it open. Honestly, I was a bit sad that I ruined the piece. Because I absolutely adore it. Frankly, I even went downstairs to have a break and had a dinner. Before I came back already on terms with that mistake. When an idea hit me. What if I could fill that scratch with something? And I dug up my transparent nail polish and painted over the lines that I didn't like. And it worked. You have no idea how happy that made me. Well, I think that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day or night. And I will see you again soon. Bye.